Welcome to another video in the Low Dragger 5 vs. 5 game development series. This is Wizard Foo, your host for this video. Welcome, everybody. What I'm working on now is being having the bots for uh, both teams be able to actually try and st attempt to steal the other team's lodestone and win the match. So let's pay attention to what's happening here. We got some AI that makes them turn into lumberjacks. There they got there, they picked up the axe, became lumberjacks. Current random numbers I've got seem to always get these guys to both become lumberjacks and go for the exact same lane marker. That'll be an improvement I'll need to make is make them be able to go for different lanes. Um, another big improvement will be uh, increasing the frame rate because it's really tanking. Probably it's mostly uh, pathfinding, I'm pretty sure, from some of my profiling tests. So uh, now that they've built, they've carved a path up to that one lane. There are now, uh, they've become builders now that they've picked up the hammer and they're going over here and building a bridge and there they built the bridge and now you can walk across here. Um, so now they're going to come back to base, become rollless and seek out some enemy creeps um, and become arch raggers from gaining some experience. So that's how you would, oh, whoops, this, all this code is really not that great. Oh geez, why are they going all the way over here? Come on, get there, this guy. Oh. Well, it doesn't always work on every run. Let's see if we can get, come on, get, kill him. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, soon these guys should turn into arch raggers and they'll target the bridge and then target the enemy team's lodestone and then steal the lodestone and drag it back to base and hopefully win. I've never actually had any of that all happen in all my tests yet. This is uh this is the hard part about this developing this AI at this point is that it takes so much time because you got to let this whole match play out. Oh, there is one of them finally is our tracker. Okay, I think maybe both of them are becoming our tracker and now they're just getting pwned. So let's let one of them die. One guy's red. There we go. There, I just killed. I killed all the enemies. I cheated to uh, to let these guys survive. Okay, they're both going for it. All right. Let's see what happens here. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with both of them trying to go for the load zone. Oh, great. One of them got through. Cool. It's easier to kind of debug this whole situation when one of them gets through. All right, you should pick up the... Oh, we missed it. Son of a... All right, well, he was supposed to... He presses the eight... Whoa, is he going back for it? Let's see. All right, maybe he's going back for another try. There, he's got it this time. Yes! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right, this could be a first, actually, paying... Witnessing him drag it all the way back to the bridge and then back to the home. And if that all works... Come on. Get across that bridge. I don't think it's going to work. He got stuck. Oh well. Well, you get the point. Uh, eventually I'll get this all working where um, he can actually properly cross the bridge and take that lodestone on home and win the match. So there you go. Um, let's take a look at some of the code behind all this. This is mostly um, sequences. Um, so when um, when whenever one of the AI becomes role-less, it does a little bit of thinking on what type of role it should become at that point. Um, it might become a builder, it might become a lumberjack, and it might go for becoming an arch ragger. In this case, we're looking at the arch ragger one, where it basically just t sees if uh, there's less than two arch raggers on the current team, then target the nearest creep spawner, and then set a pathfind, basically, to the creep spawner. So then um, once it gets to, uh, let's see, roll as shield, when it's a, uh, oh, roll as creep, actually. So if you're roll as and you're near creep, then target the nearest creep and stop. And then throw up the shield when, um, when the target is close enough. And this button X is basically pressing the shield for two seconds and then uh, releasing. 
And then, so once it's used the shield enough successfully, when the uh, when the creep is attacking the the uh, rollless entity and throws up a shield, that generates some experience points. So once it's got enough experience, that uh, levels them up to archragger. So and when, whenever they become an archragger, it targets the nearest bridge, sets a path towards that, and then um, once it gets near the bridge. It goes and targets the opponent's lodestone, and then sets a path to that. And then once it's got near, close enough to the lodestone, in fact, maybe, maybe the problem with the code was that, I'm not sure. Uh, then it presses the button A um, indefinitely. So that's what this is, button A press, actually starts pressing, and then button A, if it said button A release, then it would um, you know, cancel that indefinite press. So then, it, so it starts dragging by uh, pressing the A button to drag the lodestone, and then it targets the nearest bridge again. And um, here's what wasn't working there was um, if if uh, it gets to the bridge and it's holding the button A, then target the nearest load marker on the uh, for that given the current team, and then path back to that. And then the game will automatically shut itself down and restart when um, it detects a victory situation, which would mean that the lodestone had been the enemy team's lodestone had been dragged all the way back to that team's home. So it's kind of a complex AI, and it's taken a while to test because um, you know each run takes five minutes. So uh, it's uh, yeah. It's, there's certain little things to make it faster. Like, for example, I've only got two bots on each team, well, three players on each team total. I used to be having five. It was harder to debug. Um, but anyways, one little step at a time, and this will all get finished. There you have it. Thanks for watching.